Hello everyone, and welcome to our newest experiment here in the pixel biology community, where many of you are probably familiar with some of our Sims 4 laboratory challenges, where we mix and match all sorts of different creatures' genes, like, you know, mixing a cheetah with a chihuahua or a moose with a Labrador, and get all sorts of fascinating random genetic experiments as a result. Well, lately with all of the Pokemon fun we have been having exploring the new Crown Tundra zone and all of the excitement that we have been having with our Pixelmon Ranger series returning, I was kind of curious, is there a way to do something like our Sims 4 Labarkatory Challenge but with Pokemon? And the answer is absolutely with fusions and there are so many great fusion generators out there and this is actually my favorite so i thought why not today roll up our sleeves and go ahead and try out some pokemon fusions as our pixel biology experiment especially because we are celebrating the fact that my absolute most favorite beloved little yipper yamper yipper <laughs> I can't believe I named him Yipper, that always makes it so confusing, but basically my beloved Yamper, Yipper, actually got to have his very first egg show up in the nursery today in our Pixelmon Ranger episode, and we are totally going to be hatching it in our Pixelmon world, and we are going to be raising his child, and I got so excited about that, I started thinking, what if Yamper had ended up crossbreeding with a different type of Pokemon in the nursery, and when the egg hatched, you actually got a mix of the two. So today we are going to be crossbreeding Yamper, and hopefully Yipper or Yamper, in our hearts at least. We're going to be crossbreeding Yampers with other types of Pokemon, and we're going to see if the results are really cute, really cool, or really horrifying. And I'm going to show you guys how absolutely awesome it is, because this generator actually produces a Pokemon. Pokedex, so we can even come up with our own like biology estimates of what this Pokemon does. Where do they live? So I'm really excited to do that too. So you guys need to be ready. Get your creativity and your, you know, science glasses on. And if you have some cool ideas about what these Pokemon fusions would be like, where their habitats would be, what kind of food they would have, what their behavior would be like, leave them in the comments because coming up with that kind of really cool like pixelated biology information is what we are all about here. So, okay, let's do this. All right, so with the fusion generator, the way you use this is you select a Pokemon on one side to crossbreed. And in this case, we are going to be selecting our little Yamper. And then you select a second Pokemon that you want to crossbreed. And I'm just using another Yamper as an example of this. And then you go ahead and you fuse both of them. And as they fuse, it will take both of the Pokemon, mix their genetics, and produce, in this case, a purebred Yamper, who's extremely adorable. And you can even go ahead and you can see what it would look like if you had a shiny variant, which I think is amazing. And you can also see what would happen if you went ahead and you actually... Na 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 na. And... Ta-da! evolved them, which I think is just so much freaking fun. So they would evolve into a Boltoon. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and we are actually going to come back over. We are going to have our adorable Lily Yamper, and we are going to crossbreed it with some random Pokemon to see what the results would be. The really cool part is we don't even have to decide which random Pokemon we'd use, though if you guys have suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comments below because I think it'd be a lot of fun to pick, like, constant Pokemon and do these little experiments alongside our laboratory stuff. And no promises, but if it's just kind of like recoloring something and moving a few traits around, we might even be able to sort of kind of make some of these fusions show up in our Pixelmon Ranger series. We'll have to see. But let's go ahead and let's say we left Yipper the Yamper at the nursery, and instead of getting a purebred Yamper, the Yamper ended up crossbreeding with a Torterra! <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and if we're gonna have Torterra, uh, we wanna have Torterra's earlier versions, I think. I mean, maybe? So Torterra, you are gonna be 387. I cannot remember like off the top of my head what Torterra's like earlier versions would be. So let's see, let's go Gen 4 and we're gonna have, come on, Gen 4. Oh, wait, 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 need it, there we go. All right, Gen 4. And that would actually be, is that Turtwig? How did I forget Turtwig? Okay, so we're going to say that Yamper was left at the nursery, crossbred with a Turtwig, and the results are... <gasps> oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, 
gosh, look at it. <laughs> a turper. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what do you do, little guy? If you come over here, you can actually see the tiny leaf puppy Pokemon. Oh, that sounds adorable. Made from soil, the shell on its back hardens when it drinks water. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. That's so cute. So you can see like a mixed up description of its Pokedex for what it would be like. You can go ahead and even see the size of how big it would be. So you can get an idea of how adorable it is to have this little like tiny leaf Leaf, puppy Pokemon ankle biter around and we can even go ahead and evolve it you guys ready for this and the results are <laughs> Grotund! So you would end up with this guy who would probably be called a Grotund. Uh, and that's if you mix the Boltund and the, the Grottle. But let me show you guys a really cool thing that happens. You don't have to let it evolve. You could go ahead and just keep the Yamper and the Grottle. And let's see what happens. And you see it's totally different. It's totally different. So this is another possible variant that you could end up with. It lives along water and forest, and as it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. All right, you are freaking cute. And then if we went ahead and we let you go ahead and evolve again, I guess we'll just go ahead and hit the evolve. We'll see both variants that way. What'd we get? Oh, that looks really cool, actually. Look at this one. So this would be Tortund if we had the evolved form. So we'll, we'll just say that these are all the very different variants that you could end up with if you had a Yamper and a Turtwig end up having a baby together and it was a crossbreed like this. Oh, look at that. Okay, what's its description? The Continent Dog Pokemon. <laughs> It's probably massive. Oh, not really. It's only like a, a little over three feet. Small Pokemon, small Pokemon occasionally gather on its unmoving back to begin building their nest. Tortoon can run nonstop for three days. Oh no, can you imagine like a Pidgey starting to build a nest on its back? Because it doesn't move for forever. And then all of a sudden it takes off for three days nonstop with the Pidgey just like clinging to the back in terror. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. I love him. But if we come over and we turn him back into a Yamper, let's do that. Let's come over and become a Yamper once more. Oh, that's cute. So it would become a Torpor. And let's see, yeah, it, this time it would generate electricity at the base of its tail as it ran. And then what's really fine is with this particular fusion generator, you can actually come over and look at this, guys. We can show off everybody we've had so far. Isn't this so cool? We can see what the whole family would look like of our crossbreeds already. Look at that. We start with our Yamper and then we mix it with a Turtwig. We start evolving everybody a little bit and this is the results that you would have. I love it. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite so far? I kind of love the way this one looks like it's covered in a gold shield. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and crossbreed Yamper with another one. We'll see if we can get a little team going. Wait, a heat rotom? What? What's this? With a rotom? I didn't even think about that. And you get Rotper. He has like a little Christmas Pokemon. Look at him. Its body is composed of plasma. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to make like a big collection, I think. And we're gonna try to pick like which ones we think turned out to be the most exciting. All right, then let's get you guys. We'll start, we'll have our herd of yampers. Let's make a herd of yampers. Here we go. There we go. All right, heat rod them, huh? All right. What happens if you fuse it with a polyrath? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Look at his little swirlies. What? Its highly developed muscles never grow fatigued, however much it exercises. As it runs, it gen so it's just an endless tadpole puppy, uh, puppy Pokemon that could generate electricity nonstop, but is not very big. Okay, okay. I don't know, I don't know, what do you guys think? I kind of like his face, because he does look like he's going to pick a fight with you, but look at how his little paws have changed. Oh, his paws changed on the other ones too. That's such a cute detail. Heck, okay. 
So if we had Polyrath, I am familiar with the, the Polyrath at least. So let's go. What about Polywag? Let's try it. That's adorable. They're both cute. If we had Yamper and Polywag, what would the results be? Okay, actually, that's a little scary. I don't know about this one. Sometimes science may indeed go too far. Um. Hmm. Polypur. It's possible to see this Pokemon spiral innards right through its thin skin. Okay, we went from this is cute territory to this is possibly nightmares. Uh, pretty darn fast there, just saying, just saying. I don't wanna see through its skin to its innards. <laughs> so here we go, here we have Polypur. Oh, what's this one? Interesting. Oh, you can, oh, you can evolve it into two different forms? <gasps> I didn't know that. I'm so behind on the hundreds and hundreds of new Pokemon. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this one over here. All right, there you go, buddy. You guys are all kind of terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, but what if we actually had you evolve this way? And I might, I need to reduce it from Boltuned again, but Politoed is cute. <gasps> That's actually kind of adorable. Oh my goodness, look at the little Politoed. So this would be the frog dog Pokemon. <laughs> the curled hair on its head proves its status as a king. Politoed can run nonstop for three days. Okay, that's actually kind of adorable. I love him. You can, okay, if you can keep all of these scary guys under control, I would be very grateful for that. I would be highly grateful. So you, you watch over your little herd of more terrifying Pokemon. And then let's return this one to a Yamper. Man, can you imagine the digger? Okay, that's not quite as cute, I'm gonna admit, but kind of cute still. All right, there we go. That took a direction I wasn't expecting, just saying. All right, let's get a couple more of them. Can you imagine how freaking confused the daycare worker probably is as all these eggs hatch right now? So a mega camerupt, huh? Can I, no, come back Yampa. I want you on the side. So major camerupt and is that mega? Hmm. So that's gonna be this guy. And do you have, see I'm learning about all these new Pokemon all of a sudden. So we want 323. Nice, okay. And 320, do you start as a normal? I think it starts as a normal? And then, no, maybe it's just a camera up. Okay, let's just go with camera up because I have never seen a camera up before. <laughs> I'm so behind on Pokemon. And it would become, huh, camper. Okay, what do you do, friend? A Pokemon that lives in the crater of a volcano. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Its height is a really hilariously specific number, and it's an eruption puppy Pokemon. I don't know if I would want to have an eruption puppy Pokemon around, but I think we can turn him into a Mega Evolution. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. He's not nearly as terrifying. I thought he was gonna be like a living volcano, which he kind of is, but he's not nearly as terrifying as I thought he would be. All right, all right. Cute, cute, but I wonder, there has to be like a really perfect mix. We're looking, I think, for the cute factor, and so far, I think just straight up Yamper. Nobody can be cuter than just a plain Yamper so far. All right, let's go ahead, randomize. Oh, a Chimchar? I would not have think like thought to do a Yamper and a Chimchar. All right, what do we get this th Huh. Okay, look, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I'm actually mildly terrified of monkeys. I'm, I, I think I'm actually making more nightmares for myself than anything else. The Chimp Puppy Pokemon. It agilely scales sheer cliffs to live atop craggy mountains. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Huh. Got some mixed feelings here. Got some mixed feelings. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Just, uh, just, just thinking this is a little interesting. Let's see. What if we have him evolve into the Monferno? Okay, we're still in the territory where this isn't quite as adorable as I was hoping. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, and what about the Inferno Ape? Huh. 
The Flame Puppy Pokemon. It uses a special kind of martial arts involving all of its limbs. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Like what? Look at these guys. Okay, I'm getting kind of desperate now. Okay, I'm gonna try to think of one of the cutest Pokemon I can, I can possibly think of. We've only got enough room. The poor Pokemon nursery worker is probably freaking out right now. Uh, I, I, I wanna vote. Okay, actually this one's probably cutest Pokemon out of all the ones we've had. All right, we're running out of room. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna try to think of like the cutest Pokemon I can. Can I choose from, uh, okay, uh, let's see. Well, Jigglypuff is adorable. There are so many super cute Pokemon. I love p -Dove. Oh, who to pick, who to pick? Like, Milikri is kind of cute. Um, okay, let's go with, uh, let's go with Jigglypuff. Because, come on, that's like super fluff and super fluff. I'm sure something cute should happen. Oh dear. Well, you know, I mean, we tried. We tried. Let's evolve them. Maybe it gets better? Come on, Wigglytuff! I want Wigglytuff ears! Oh! Huh! <laughs> okay! Okay. Alright. Look, maybe science can go a little too far, friends. But I need to know your guys' opinions. So, out of all of the Pokemon <laughs> that we made, look at their eyes! Look at their eyes! Out of all of the Yamper crossbreeds we made today, in an attempt to create an even cuter Pokemon and just to see how cool the crossbreeds could be, did we succeed or did we end up creating Nightmare Fuel? I actually think that the Politoed and Yamper Cross is probably my favorite. I mean, look at how freaking cute this is. However, I do think that maybe the, the Rodham Cross uh, and our little Yamper, I mean, he's got, he's got a pretty sporting face. And I think for biology purposes, the most interesting ones to me are probably the ones that are mixed with Turtwigs, especially because I love the idea that it does, like some of these ones don't move, like the, gener the continent, so yeah, the Torterra and the Yamper Pokemon, where it doesn't move for ages so that all the other Pokemon make nests on it and then it takes off and doesn't stop running for three days. That kind of cracks me up. That just is a hilarious mental image. <laughs> but all right, so you guys, let me know. Which one do you think actually turned out cute? If you were indeed a Pokemon Ranger researcher in our Pixelmon Ranger series, which one would you think is actually the most fascinating to study and maybe write your thesis on? And also leave some suggestions on perhaps something a little less terrifying we could go ahead and try to crossbreed our Yamper with next time. But all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.